Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and it's a pleasure to rise on behalf of Andrea Horvath and the New Democratic Party and to add my congratulations regarding Asian and South a Asian Heritage Month. Uh, certainly, uh, we know that uh, Asian countries comprise the greatest group of immigrants. However, they also comprise the greatest group of immigrants that suffer from poverty and suffer from the lack of entry into some professions. Just this last year, Ontario's lost training programs for international medical graduates because there was not enough sufficient capacity in the system. And I noticed uh, with some anguish that the, the minister uh, omitted Tibetans from his list of South Asians. Perhaps the reason for this is that the minister refused to raise the flag uh, for the Tibetan, uh, Tibetans, recognizing them as a community. Uh, and the, the answer we got is that the United Nations doesn't recognize them as a nation, uh, when in fact uh, he has raised the flag for Métis and other groups that are not recognized as a nation either by the United Nations, and also 3.3 million that the federal government donated to the Tibetan Cultural Centre. Again, uh, uh, the federal uh, Minister of Immigration asked this minister if this government would uh, contribute as well and was given a flat refusal, no. Uh, again, uh, ignoring the rights of the Tibetan community, the largest single group of Tibetans uh, in the world live in Toronto, outside of Nepal and India. So I, I have to ask on behalf of my constituents, why are the Liberals ignoring Tibetans again? Uh, it's outrageous, uh, Mr. Speaker, and certainly this is a group of refugees who have needs. They're the sign uh, and the symbol of nonviolence uh, and peace throughout the world with His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Uh, certainly, I hope that by the time of His Holiness's visit next October, that the government has rectified the above and has contributed to the cultural centre and has raised the flag for Tibet just like it does for everybody else. I'm going to leave some time for my colleague, but I look forward to the minister's response. Response uh, to my uh, interjections here, Mr. Speaker, and certainly his response to the Tibetan community. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Nickelbelt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.